So one of the biggest statements and kind of mottos of my life, a statement which for me is very profound and continues to serve me every day of my life, is this. The intensity of the pain relates directly to the size of the expectation. The intensity of the pain relates directly to the size of the expectation. And I cannot tell you how much that statement has served me in my life. So I think I first heard that statement when I was a teenager. And you know, teenagers are all wounded by everything. You know, everybody else is doing it to me. And parents never live up to our expectations, nor do our mentors, teachers, friends. And, uh, and we love to always be victimized when we're teenagers by the world. But that uh, statement really, really changed a huge amount of my life perspective. And I realized, you know, how much expectation I had of people without them even knowing I had those expectations of them. And I see this with a lot of relationships. And it's really a relationship of any kind, whether this is your intimate relationship or with a colleague or especially with family members, is that you all have these really high expectations of how you think your parents should be with you, your siblings, your partner, your colleagues, your boss. And of course, nobody is capable of living up to those expectations that you have, mostly because you're not communicating them to the people in your life. So all you're really doing by expecting stuff from people uh, that you know they're incapable of giving you is setting them up for failure. You constantly set people up to not make it with you in your life by having these expectations that are completely unrealistic. And when they now don't meet your expectations, you feel pain because of it. You feel disappointed, you feel rejected, you feel unheard, you don't feel valued. But, you know, you're the one doing this. You are the one expecting them to be someone that they're not or to behave in a way that maybe they've never behaved. And it's your unrealistic expectations that are creating this pain in your life. So just take a look at the expectations you have of everyone around you and are they actually capable of meeting those expectations. When I work with a lot of couples, a lot of the statements are things like, but he should have known, or she should have seen that I was unhappy, or, you know, he should have understood that it's not what I wanted, and a lot of shoulds, there's a lot of shoulds in couples work, and of course the shoulds are just, uh, are just backed up by expectations. So how honest and open and clear are you being to your partner in your life about what it is you want from them? And your expectations about how they should behave with you around communication, around how you guys handle finances in your relationship, you know, around how you handle parenting together, uh, you know, how you handle the chores around the home together. Just look at your expectations you have around your colleagues and your boss at work, how you'd like them to speak to you and behave with you. Uh, you know, definitely, definitely look at the expectations you have about your family members, especially your parents. Um, you know, and and it's really important to start lowering a lot of those. I always say to people, if you want happier relationships, lower your expectations. And I'm not joking, because the lower your expectations, the more you are actually just in a state of reality about who the person actually is. And then that puts you in a place to be able to accept, you know, who they are versus harping on about the picture you wish they would be. And uh, nobody is ever going to measure up to your pictures and your expectations. So that's, uh, that's something for you to look at today. Where are your expectations really limiting the joyful experiences of all of the relationships of your life?